The playoffs are starting in a couple of days and we have got ourselves a brand new NBA playoffs promo in NBA Live Mobile Season 6 dropping tomorrow. In this video, we're going to be going through all the sneak peeks that we got on EA's live stream on Twitch. The link to that will be in the description down below. As you can see, you've got a bunch of 97 overall masters you can try and get and then you've got a grandmaster and 99 Nikola Jokic. Now, unfortunately, he is another center card. We've just had another center in that car at the towns. It seems to be getting to the point where we keep getting a lot of centers, but Nick has assured us that in the actual Easter promo, which is going to be a side promo dropping, I think on the 17th, it is going to be something else. It's not going to be a center. So it is a little bit of a shame that Jokic is a center with this promo, but at least he's giving out a gold defensive boost over here. You've got some other 97s to try and get. You've got a Booker, you've got Zach Levine, you've got Draymond Green, and you've got a Clay Thompson over here, and they're all going to be got in slightly different ways. And we'll go on to that in a little bit but as you can see this is your map now it does actually look a little bit new and for a moment i actually thought this was going to be a completely new promo but then as we got into it i kind of recognized what it was you can see you'll start off by claiming your 85 overall clay thompson over here and you'll basically level him up he's a little bit different to the other sort of masters and we'll go on to that in a sec but you can see there are blitz events and you can play up to 20 times a day all of these events so basically 20 events every single day to get yourself some playoff points which are going to help you in the milestones which are key in this promo over here then as you you can see with your events now this is what made it look a little bit different because usually it looks a little bit different to this but then i realized okay it is actually a promo that we have had before and that is we've had it this season in mad scientist we had it in the dunk masters promo and we had it way back when in that manatee manage promo which is the first time we had this format but basically what you're going to get over here is you've got different events unlocking throughout the whole promo and they'll keep unlocking as we keep going through you'll get more and more events every single day promo is out for seven days and each one will reset every 12 hours roughly and you will keep going through again and again playing through more and more events so on the first day you'll probably only get two events in total the next day four and you'll keep going up and up and up until all of these events unlocked i think on the last two days every single one will be unlocked so you've got a bunch of events to play through so when we log on into the game at the very first thing tomorrow you will only be greeted with say one event unlocked or two events unlocked at the top but don't worry, you will get more as we keep going through the promo. That is to be expected as to what we've had previously with similar promos to this format. But you can see it's sort of separated into two different sides. You've got a west side and you've got an east side. I'm guessing it'll just go from left to right, unlocking at different times. As you can see, it's sort of doing that over here on this test device. Um, so it's unlocked the first two events and it's unlocked the third one and the fourth one will unlock at some point. But that is going to be the case as we keep going through the whole promo. More events will unlock every single day. You have more and more events. Be able to play through and get yourself some playoff play and some extra playoff points but this is just the start of the playoffs promo hopefully we get into bigger and better things when it comes to getting through to the different rounds of the playoffs hopefully it gets a bit better and a bit bigger with less copy and paste and hopefully it's going to be good but it's a decent format it's quite fun to play through i don't know exactly what you're going to be able to get no money spent i'll go through all the calculations in my promo breakdown video which will be dropping tomorrow um, but as you can see this is your milestones and you'll get some playoff players some masters some seed tokens and um, to be able to upgrade that clay thompson as well and then you'll go into the sets which gone to in a second but these are your events that are going to be appearing at the top these are the ones that sort of go over here so the 1v8 as it were this is what you're going to get out of this event over here you're going to get 750 playoff points plus you're going to get a seed one versus seed eight pack now i don't know exactly what this is in this pack but i'm guessing it's just going to be a couple of players from either seed one teams or seed eight teams depending on which event you're playing pretty much um so it's just going to basically give you a player that is going to help you in the sets themselves but you're also getting those playoff points and it does actually mean you have to get lucky in those packs to help you get through the sets which we'll go on to in a second there is a leaderboard which is always fun whenever we have a leaderboard it's probably going to last the whole in entirety of the promo and you will get yourself a Luka Doncic if you get to the top of that leaderboard so he's going to be pretty nice I don't know exactly what he's looking like you're going to have to wait and see all of this stuff is dropping tomorrow so I guess we'll find out when that stuff does drop but you can see in the milestones over here you get some players you'll get some extra seed tokens which are specific to that Clay Thompson you'll get some select packs to help you in the sets themselves and as we keep going through you can see you'll get some extra um, sort of boom or bus packs for a 93 now the 93s are really good they're not going to help you in getting the 97s in in the sets they're going to help you by giving you a little bit of a boost and if you played through a similar structure to this promo over here you'll probably recognize the fact that these players are going to help you once you stick them on your team they're giving out a boost which is going to boost the amount of playoff points you're getting from every different event you play through this is what the seed token is looking like and that is specific to your clay thompson you'll keep going through as i said getting more select packs getting more players all of that stuff as we keep going through you'll get in total 393 select packs from the actual milestones themselves and one is at 200,000. there's one a little bit before that one i don't know exactly where it's out i think it's about 148,000. but that is just me going off memory of past promos that we've had and you'll get a very last one at 
the very end. I think it's about 300,000 at the milestones over there, but you'll get a select pack and you can basically pick one of the three 97 overall masters. So that could be Draymond Green, Zach Levine or Devin Booker. There's one 97, which we explained is Luka Doncic in the leaderboard. And the other one is through the set by getting Clay Thompson. So you're going to need all four to trade in to be able to get yourself that Jokic over there. So you're going to have to get all four of them pretty much to get that Jokic at the end. And that is basically how you get him. But in the sets over here, you can see the top player is for that Clay Thompson. You're going to need one seed token to level him up. So from 85 to 87 requires one token, 87 to 89, again, the same 89 to 91, and then 91 to 93 and 93 to 95. And then finally 95 to 97, each one requiring one seed token. And each time you get him, he will have more of a boost on him. You can see that sort of little icon over there signifies the difference in those playoff points boost. He's going to start off, I think about 2%. He's going to work his way each time getting up by 2% until you get up to the max one, which is I think about 10% here or there. So it's going to be good. You're going to keep leveling up. And every time you get him, you want to stick him to your bench. So you're getting more playoff points as we go through the promo. You can exchange some players over here. Now this one looks a little bit confusing just because it says 1276 to 93 overall playoff players. But if you think about it, I don't actually think there are any 76 rated playoff players in this promo. And as you can see on Nick Spence, he's got a 92 overall pass promo player. So I'm guessing you can put any player in this set over here, as long as they're between 76 and 93. I could be wrong. Again, we're going to have to wait and see what actually happens when it does drop, but you will get a certain amount of playoff points with this set over here. It's probably going to have a cooldown, but it is repeatable over there. You can see you're exchanging your base playoff players anywhere between 84 and 88 overall, 15 of them to get yourself a 93 select pack. And the quicker you can get a 93, the easier this promo is going to be, the quicker you'll get through those milestones just because of the boost they're giving out in regards to getting more playoff points. You can either do this set over here, so 15 random players or two players from each overall to be able to get yourself a select pack. This one's obviously 10 players in total. This one's 15. This one's not specific. This one is specific. So it's kind of weighing up which one do you want to do. Again, both are repeatable. So you can try and get all four of those 93 overall masters. You can see them all there. You're going to basically pick between each one every single time you do it. And then you can see, unfortunately, Nick can click on the set, but you're going to need all four of the 97 overall masters. So Devin Booker, Draymond Green, and that Clay Thompson and that Zach Levine, all four of those guys to get yourself that 99 place. I'll select Nikola Jokic, plus you'll get those 97s back most likely. We'll take a quick look at some of their stats over here. If you want to take a more in-depth look, you can by all means pause the video at any point. But the 97s are all giving out a playoff points boost, which is really valuable. And it is getting a little bit lazy now. I mean, come on, they've still got NBA playoffs clone master. Now, if you remember clone, which from the Mad Scientist promo, come on, EA really need to fix this stuff. There's little things like this. They just keep working their way into the game, which really need to be fixed over here. But Devin Booker, he is a power shooting guard. He's got a 98 three-point shot, which is looking very nice. A 97 dunking, 95 layup, and a 94 mid-range shot. All looking really nice on those shooting stats. And then on our playmaking side, not too good in the mid 80s over there. Defensive end, not that good, but it is a Devin Booker card. And then he's got an 85 still over here. So very good on the shooting end. Not so good on pretty much anything else. Then you've got Zach Levine over here, a 97 shooting guard again, but he is a strategic player. So you've got two shooting guards with this promo. And if you guys remember, this was an issue that we had with the Dunk Masters promo, which was exactly the same format. We had lots of players from the same positions. It is pretty annoying to see. But as you can see, he's got an 88 dunk. For a Zach Levine card, surely that should be a little bit higher. Um, but he's got a 97 layup. He's got some pretty low rebounding stats. He's got a 91 speed, an 89 three-point shot, and a 99 mid-range shot. He's also got some pretty good playmaking stats, most of those in the high 90s over there. 95 passing accuracy and a 96 court vision. So a bit better on those playmaking stats compared to Devin Booker, but a little bit worse on some of the shooting stats, especially at the three-point range. Then you've got Draymond Green over here, a finesse power forward, again giving out that boost that's going to help you in the different events. He's got a 90 offensive rebounding and a 94 defense. Defensive rebounding looking pretty good. 91 dunking, 91 layup over here, an 83 point shot and an 88 mid range shot. On the defensive end, looking pretty good in the low 90s on most of those stats on the left hand side, and a 94 block and a 93 still. But again, do you really need a power forward after we've had that um, Kevin Garnett from the April Fools promo and also we had got another power forward in Kevin Love in the previous promo. It's kind of weighing up which players do you need and which ones don't you need. Then you've got Nikola Jokic over here, a player style select center, 93 offensive rebounding, 95 defensive rebounding, 86 dunking, a 93 layup, 91 three-point shot, a 98 mid-range shot, 
pretty good all-around stats and that is obviously because he is a Nikola Jokic card he's got some really nice all-around stats defensive end looking absolutely insane with all of those in the mid 90s some of them in the high 90s over there 83 blocks 74 steal and the playmaking stats as well looking really nice 99 passing accuracy and a 98 court vision and he's giving out that gold defensive boost so he's looking like a really nice master over there but unfortunately he's at that center position so again it's weighing up which masters do you need which ones don't you need then you got clay thompson another shooting guard that's three shooting guards as the masters with this promo if luka Doncic in the milestones is another shooting guard that's going to be four of the masters at shooting guard the grandmaster at center which we have had before and then a the power forward again it's all the positions that we don't really need and it's all of them at one position pretty much so it is a little bit of a shame with this promo it's not a great way to start off a playoffs promo but again we're gonna have to wait and see when all of this stuff does drop how exciting it is to play through it you got a 99 three-point shot a 96 mid-range shot again really nice shooting stats as expected for a clay thompson card he's got a 93 speed and a 93 agility on a defensive end not that good but he is a clay thompson card he's got a 91 passing accuracy and a 90 court vision 82 block and an 89 still so pretty good shooting stats as expected with a clay thompson you've got some store masters you can pick up and they're all going to give out a 10 percent playoff points boost similar to how the masters are going to give a 20 percent boost these ones are going to give you a little bit of a boost as well it's either 20 percent for the masters or 10 percent. i can't really remember um, but as you can see you're going to get a 91 select pack you can pick between any of them you've got some boomer boss bundles you've got some boomer boss packs you've got some player packs you've got a claim offer that's going to be free and you should definitely do this one just because it is free you've got some coins or watch ad you've also got some playoff points for cash over here nick did manage to open a couple of of the player packs he got Vucevic he got Jordan Poole over here and he got Mikhail Bridges and he got Zubac over there as well so he got some decent pools and then in the boom and bust packs you're going to get some extra playoff points instead if you don't manage to get the player but that is all the sneak peeks that we got as I said all of these are from EA's live stream on Twitch the link to that will be in the description down below but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think about this promo it is a format that we have had before as with pretty much all the promos that we've had this season the masters are at very similar positions to what we've had previously and three of them if not four at that Luka Doncic are going to be at that shooting guard position which is a real shame it's not the best way to start off a playoffs promo in my opinion but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below which one of these masters are you most excited to get let me know all of that in the comment section down below leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one peace